Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Writer Aaron Sorkin has tackled trailblazers like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg. Now he's peeling back the curtain on Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz at a tumultuous time in their career and marriage in his new film, Being the Ricardos. It's in theaters December 10th and will be streaming on Amazon Prime December 21st. And I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Aaron Sorkin pairs down their extensive life and career to a one-week period from a Monday table read of I Love Lucy to a Friday taping. Now, tapped to play Lucille Ball is Nicole Kidman, who finds her life upended when rumors start to spread about her potentially being a communist. Now, at the same time, her husband Dazzy, played by Javier Bardem, is battling rumors of infidelity. Now, if all this wasn't enough, Lucille Ball is pregnant, and her pregnancy threatens the rest of the show's production schedule. The film also stars J.K. Simmons as William Frawley, and Nina Arianda as Vivian Vance, as well as Tony Hale, Alia Shawkat, and Jake Lacey. Now, it's hard not to go into being the Ricardos with a certain level of expectations, depending on your knowledge and love of Lucy, Desi, their show, Aaron Sorkin, or this casting. It's almost best to go in with an open mind, as writer-director Aaron Sorkin takes a very focused approach at just one piece of their story. The framing structure of the film has members of the writing staff breaking the fourth wall and narrating the film, really looking back at what happened that week. Now, for example, Linda Lavin plays the Madeline Pugh role in her 70s, who is then played by Alice Shawkat throughout the majority of the film. Sorkin wastes no time and reminds us of his frantic pacing, kicking the film off by teasing the heightened stakes up front. Now, as a director, though, he still manages to find levels in his story, easing up on the more intimate moments of Lucy and Dizzy's marriage to the tension-filled meetings with network executives and producers when Lucy and Desi fight to have her pregnancy included in the storylines. Now, according to one executive, you can't have a pregnant woman on television. Now, Sorkin reminds us that Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz are very different than the Ricardos, and his cast commits to that, shying away from impersonations unless we see them actually filming the show. Nicole Kidman commands the screen as Lucille Ball, adapting that husky voice, and makes Lucille Ball someone who knows exactly what she wants, whether she's questioning script beats, physical comedy choices, or the appearance of their marriage. Now, some could consider Ball difficult, but Kidman demands our respect for her. Now, Javier Bardem captures the pure charm of Desi Arnaz, making him cocky and invincible, but someone who really loved his wife. Bardem and Kidman don't necessarily look like their counterparts, but the essence and the drive of who these two is fully captured in their performances. Now, J.K. Simmons and Nina Arianda are equally captivating at breathing life into William Frawley and Vivian Vance and their volatile relationship off-screen. Aaron Sorkin takes some liberties with the timeline of these events in order to fit it into that one-week production schedule. But it's a really smart and creative choice to pay homage to the plight of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz instead of falling into that trap that so many biopics do where they're just kind of giving us a Wikipedia page on screen. This film will no doubt inspire a new generation to fall in love with the incomparable Lucille Ball and how she was a trailblazer for so many in the industry. I'm giving Being the Ricardos four and a half out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got to interview this cast, Nicole Kidman, Javier Bardem, J.K. Simmons, Nina Arianda, and Aaron Sorkin. So you definitely want to check out those interviews. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Being the Ricardos. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.